Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? I could almost kiss the stars for shining so bright. Those lyrics have been ingrained on my mind for the best part of 20 years. The Lizzie McGuire movie was released in 2003 and it was directed by Jim Fall, starring, of course, Hilary Duff as Lizzie McGuire. I grew up enjoying Lizzie McGuire, but I was never obsessed with it, with it in the way that I was obsessed with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And I think I even preferred The Amanda Show to Lizzie McGuire. Not that that's a fair comparison. But basically, I really liked it, but I didn't, you know, if the film wasn't perfect, it wasn't going to be the end of the world. But it's, it's good fun. It's pretty typical of what you would expect. But I liked it. Basically, Lizzie McGuire is on her way to Rome, in Italy, of course, and it suddenly becomes this incredible dream come true. It's very far-fetched, it's very unrealistic, but for the young viewer, for the teenage viewer watching it, it's absolutely incredible. And Lizzie finds herself famous and is, well, she's within the vicinity of a, a very, um, I guess, teen pop sensation, Paolo. And things seem to be going really well for her, but she is a teenager, there will be drama, not everything will go to plan. And I love it. I think it's it's great. It's, you know, for me viewing it now as an adult, I've seen this film numerous times. For me viewing it as an adult, it's cheesy and over the top and not realistic in the slightest. But for me viewing it at the time, it's fun and exciting. It's full of, you know, beautiful fashion and gorgeous scenery. Lizzie McGuire being famous brings a lot of excitement and you know it's high intensity and you know Adam Lamberg as Gordo absolutely great and I just can't really find any fault with it not that I'm saying it's flawless I'm not saying it's technically perfect the narrative is not the most well sewn narrative ever but it ticks all of the boxes to at least some degree and as far as teen films go it seems safe you know, there are a lot of teenage films from around this time, and most of them are actually really decent. Maybe I'm just getting old and grumpy, but I feel like the teen films that were released when I was a teen, so this, uh, Mean Girls, and maybe Freaky Friday, maybe, maybe that's too high calibre for this, but that kind of thing, this is definitely within that, that category for me. It's like Princess Diaries, that kind of era. Those films were just always so well crafted. Then of course we have the song What Dreams Are Made Of and I mean the scene where that's kind of performed for the first time is lovely. It, it's really nice and again I can't really fault it. Would I recommend this film if you're not a Lizzie McGuire fan? Only if you're a teenager. Definitely not if you're you know a, a fully grown adult. It's not going to be for you. You are not the target audience. But if you like Lizzie McGuire or you want a nostalgia trip but you've never seen the film and you want to maybe enjoy a new journey, this is a fantastic way to do that because it is quite, quite exciting. For me, if it never existed, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. But at the same time, I really enjoyed it and there's just nothing about it I would change. The location's great, the setting's great. I really liked it. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't seen it feel free to check it out it's it's fun don't take it seriously but as far as film adaptations of tv shows go yes it's over the top but it speaks to its audience well